Welcome to Shikhan.com. In today's class, we will be learning that by using MS Excel, how will we create rank? Which means whenever we create any result sheet or we create any sale document. In that case, ranking factor rises, which means let's say in 20 people who has done the best sales to place them in a consecutive way. Or let's say if we go ahead and prepare a result sheet. For example, if I prepare the result sheet of 10 or 20 people. Many of them were having problem to evaluate that who has come first and who has come second in a consecutive manner. So in today's class, we will be learning that by using MS Excel, how we will set up the ranks, a result sheet or a sales sheet, how we will be creating in a complete manner. If you have not seen the full course of MS Excel, then you can view a link on the description or you can visit today www.shikhan.com. Over there, you can view the full and complete course of MS Excel. So to learn MS Excel today, please visit our website. So let's go and start our today's class. Let's see the document on the screen at first. So now if we are going to prepare result sheet, first of all, we have to prepare a document like this. We will place the name serial wise, then we'll be giving the subjects on the above. After that, we will see that which student has scored what numbers in which subject and set them accordingly. Now all the red marks which we can see over here and also if you don't know the system of this red mark, then you can check a link in the description like how we will be bringing this conditional formatting. You can have a view on that class as well. So after using conditional formatting, if we want, we can apply those red marks over here that which student has scored below 33 in which which subjects. So after this, we already know that how to do the total in our previous classes. We will give the equal sum and select from C2 cells up to the J2 cells. After that, we will go ahead and do the sum and our total will arrive very easily. In previous classes, we have discussed how to derive the average and who has got what in which subject. If you have not viewed this, you can check out the link in the description. Or even if you want, you can check our page as well. Over there, you can find out result sheet creating format. So today we will be learning about ranks or what is the rank of the students or what is the rank or positions or role numbers of the students, whatever you want to give. We will be learning the ranks through this result sheet. But this can also be used in our corporate life by evaluating who has done the best sales. And we will be driving this in a consecutive way. So for preparing the ranks, what kind of formula is required here? For preparing the ranks, first of all, we have to write equal. After this, we will give rank. And now we will open this by giving a bracket. After this, we can see three options are on the screen right now in order. Now we have to see that what number we are going to give, which means that which cells we are going to select. We can see on the document that we have to select the first cell. So what it is here? K2. After that, we'll give a comma. After comma, there is reference. Reference means that we have to select from which cells up to which cell. Now we will drag all these cells, which means we have to derive rank or roll number from these particular cells only, not from these factors. Now what we are going to do with this total numbers, we want to derive the roll numbers. Now if this is not derived from the total numbers, if it is derived from any specific reason or any particular cell, the particular cell it is derived from, we have to select all those cells in that row. Now we know that if you want to keep this as it is, we have to give a dollar sign over here. Okay. Then we'll be giving a comma. Now the conditions are showing as descending or ascending. So we will keep the orders as descending and give us zero over here. Let's press enter. So we can see that we have received two here. Now, if you look very carefully, we can see that the second rank has been given to 659 and the first rank should be 734. Now, after that, whatever number you can see over here, we can see that there is no higher number, which means that the ranks are in order. Now we will go ahead and drag this. So after doing this, we can see that 734 has automatically been ranked one and this has been ranked two and rank number three is 623 which is rank 3 itself and then rank 4. So in this way, we have evaluated all the ranks which are placed over in a very beautiful way. So now if I want to do this, then I can do this in a very simple way following a few steps only and all the ranks will be on the screen. Now again, another important factor that we need to look into is that what if two people have received the same number? 
Over here, two people have received 480 and both are ranked as 4. And as two people have ranked 4, the rank 5 is missing from here. We can see that there is no rank 5 here. So now what the problem has arrived here is that the two students have received the same number or the two customers have got the same numbers. Then our rank number 5 will not be seen. As because we have two rank 4s, no rank 5 is seen. If rank 2 was double, then the rank 3 would be missing in the row. So we can see that there is no rank 5 here. Now let's say if we want to solve this problem, then the rank formula will not work here. However, if you want to work with the rank formula and don't want to have the same number, then we can solve this using a shortcut very easily. But whenever we have to connect this to multiple regions, so when we will be moving these two, then we will have to use one more function for this. So we will be using one more function in one more cell. We have done this already for the cell. Now if we look at this formula, you can see the formula being used. Let's see how we are going to work on this. So I am going to put this function into the exercise which we have already said before. Let's copy paste it. Now we will be looking how we will be working on this. For doing this, we have to use the formula of this sum and the product which we see over here. And the other things will be remaining the same. What did we see earlier in the rank? That we are going to fix the cells in the case of numbers. So what do we have to do over here? In total, we have K2. So we will be putting K and 2. I will provide this code in the description as well so that you all can use it. You can check out the description box. So now let's give a K here. And the last number was here 12. Over here, firstly, we will have K2. And from K2, we will be giving here K12. Now, if you're working with ready-made codes, it is very important for you to understand the functions. So, I will repeat it once more. What did we do in the previous reference? We have selected from which cell up to which cells. Now, previously, we had from K2 till K12. Now, let's say our five sides differs and our cell name is not K. Then, what to do? Then, we will just have to give the name of the cell. If my cell is L, then we will give L. And if it starts from 1 or 2, we will give 1 or 2 there. We have to select all the cells that we need to use here. And this is very important for you to understand. Now we will be opening the bracket to give count if. After giving count if, we will run an error just to see if we have any identical things here. Now let's integrate our cells here as k and make it 2. And in the same way, we will go to k and then make it 12. Again, similarly, we will do here k. Then it will be 2. And we'll be finishing that line with k. And 12 is the finishing line. So now if we check the program, we can see that we have connected the key according to our ranks. After giving equal, we have selected from k2 till k12. After giving this, I have done count if and run an error by integrating k2 and k12. So let's press enter. And if I make this large. Now we can see that in the same way we have received 2 and in rank we can also see 2. So what has changed? Let's drag this and see. So now what we see, the numbers have appeared over here. So we can see that 2, 4, 1 and again 4 have appeared correctly. But over here we can see that the 8 has appeared as 7 here. Now why is that? Over here the rank 5. So in the previous one it was showing as rank 6. That value is showing as rank 5 here. Many times it happens if someone gets a certain rank, they get a promotion. So if two people get the same rank, both of them will get the same promotion. So two people have got the rank 4 here. Now below that is 478 which was rank 6 before. But actually it should be rank 5. So this guy should receive the rewards for the rank 5 he has got. Or his or her result should be for rank 5. In the same way 6, 7 and 8. So these were two methods. If we do not have the same number, then we can very easily work with the rank parameters. And if we have same number, then we have to apply this function from here. So I'm giving this function in the description box so you can work very easily. Result sheet needs a lot more work like if someone fails in any subject. And then if he gets certain number, he will not be ranked. In this way, there are many categories. So like this, if you have any kind of problems, you can directly contact us on forum.shikhan.com. And if you want to make an important file for yourself, then you can directly contact to our experts who will charge a very minimal amount and get your work done very easily.
If you are stuck in an important work and you cannot do it yourself, you can contact forum.trickcon.com and take the help of our experts. So this was all for today. Today we have seen that with the help of MS Excel how we will be preparing ranks. And also, we have seen the members problem which was there in the ranks. So if you people also have any problem, then you can visit our forum directly, which is forum.shikhan.com. After visiting forum.shikhan.com, you can upload your problems in a specific manner. And our experts or the members of the team will help you out to get your work done very easily. Or else if you want to answer the questions in the forum, then you can share your knowledge and answers with us by submitting it on the same forum. Thank you for being with us in today's class.